Hi guys, my name is Greena James Girl and welcome to a tour of my two-story family home in Sims Free Play. This is a special house though because of course today is Thanksgiving. So this house is all set up for Thanksgiving and they are having a little Thanksgiving get together in the dining room here. As you can see they are tucking in to their Thanksgiving meal but we will check on them in a second. Let's start from the outside. This is what it looks like from the outside. As I said it is a two floor, actually it has got a basement as well so technically it's three floors. But the basement is only a very tiny little area. But this is what it looks like from the outside. It kind of takes up the whole of a standard size lot and a family of mum, dad and two kids live in this house. Let's go in and start the tour. So you enter the house through this front door here into a big kind of hallway and quite a lot of this first part of the house is kind of hallway and like storage area and stuff. When you first come in there's just this little area with a mirror so you can just check yourself out as you are leaving the house make sure you're looking okay and as you come through there's just this little room here where you can hang up your coats and stick your shoes and I added in these rugs these are just two by one rugs and you can put it all together so it looked like it's kind of one rug just to kind of make the space look I don't know like it wasn't separate rooms as such I kind of I like doing that quite a lot and then we have this area that leads us to the upstairs I've got some storage areas here these are laundry cabinets but I think they look quite nice as like decorative items like I would use those baskets as like I would put them there in real life so I kind of figured it looked quite good and then we have actually got another little room back here I was originally going to do this as a toilet but I changed my mind because I put a toilet somewhere else downstairs again this is just another coat place storage place there's you know there's four people in the house they've got a lot of stuff that they need to store places so this is just like a little storage room at the back and you go through into another big long corridor that goes downstairs into the basement also there's a few more like little storage bits there and then it comes down to the front where there's this kind of I mean it's kind of weird I kind of didn't know what to put there so I chose to put this like pine cone Christmas tree thing which is an odd decoration it was from the prince and the pocket sized princess I think I could be wrong on that but I don't know I just put it there it kind of fitted with the whole theme of like fall and Thanksgiving I figured and then there are these huge doors that I kind of imagine are like sliding doors that you can slide open into the lounge and the main area downstairs we have this huge lounge area here the kind of the theme of the downstairs I wanted it all to kind of be brown fall type colors was what I was going for and I absolutely adore <laughs> these turkey bean bags they are like so like I don't know why you would have them I have no idea but I got a couple of them just to put downstairs because I just thought they were fun and I stuck some of the balloons the orange and the yellow balloons Again, they went with the colour and like we're having a little Thanksgiving party so balloons were appropriate and we've got this huge TV up on the wall. I think they are coming to the end of their Thanksgiving dinner there actually. Oh he is stretching and yawning. <laughs> we've got archways in through to the dining area where all the family and friends are around. Some of them have got their little Thanksgiving turkeys on their head and some of them have got these pilgrim, I think they're pilgrim hats, am I wrong in that? I don't know but I think possibly oh but I love check out the turkey cats <laughs> they're so cool I love them granny over here is tucking into some fondue because why not and this sim for whatever reason will not get out of her police uniform I hope she is a police officer and she goes to work as a police officer and I've gone into the wardrobe and tried to change her she will just not get changed so I thought all right fine you just stay in your police outfit for Thanksgiving dinner then if that's what you want to do <laughs> From the dining room we kind of go through back into the lounge to get to the kitchen which probably isn't ideal but that's just how this house is laid out and I've used the Scandinavian furniture which I think is quite expensive but I had a couple from some architect homes so I managed to use them in this. I've never really used them but I do feel that they look kind of weird like the sort of circular design of them. I don't really get it to be honest but it kind of worked. I like the dark wood feel that it has. There is the little kitchen and then back out from the lounge comes down here which is where I then decided to put a little toilet there. They have a downstairs toilet and then there also is a study off the side there which I quite like this study actually. 
I like the fish tank and I don't know I like I like the position of the lamp and everything I think it looks pretty cool that computer looks ancient though but anyway <laughs> if we go back over this way to where the basement stairs are like I said it is only a small basement and the only thing that is downstairs is just this little washroom which I love it's got a little ironing board what are these called clothes horses I feel like they're called clothes horses to hang your clothes over and then all the storage to sort out laundry and things and then if we go upstairs we have the bedrooms of course there is a landing area here with a couple of decorations and you can go through to like the family bathroom here which has the necessity shower sink toilet and then this landing extends down here where there's access to all of the bedrooms so we have one bedroom over here which is pretty simple there's not too much things going on in the bedrooms because they were kind of it was quite difficult to kind of get in what i wanted like there, there were some funny shapes in this house so i just had to kind of work with what i had and there's just this big walk-in wardrobe these wardrobes i just i don't think since these wardrobes have come out i don't think i've ever actually used the doored wardrobes i always use these now i really really do love them and then on the other side of the corridor we have a, another bedroom which the teen boy of the house lives in and he has like a little nook here with oh there is somebody sitting there <laughs> they have a little nook here with a game station and a big tv and everything and they have also got a little walk-in wardrobe it's a very tiny walk-in wardrobe there but it's big enough to store everything that he needs and he also has a door out onto this little balcony area if he wanted to go outside and then on the end here we have two doors one door goes to mum and dad's bedroom and we have a couple of doors off mum and dad's bedroom one that leads into a bathroom that has let me try and show you that has a bath a sink and a toilet and then it has a little archway through to like a like a, a wet room i kind of envisioned that to be kind of thing and then we also have a door that goes into a walk-in wardrobe Again, got to use those wardrobes. I just love them. Walking wardrobes, I feel like they're always good. If you've got a house with funny angles and funny shapes, you could just make like a little room and it can be a walking wardrobe and jobs are good. <laughs> Back onto the landing. The left door leads into mum and dad's room. The right door leads into this huge, big, like, kids area, really. So they have a little outdoor cinema, which I didn't realise could be placed inside, but you can place it inside. So I was like, yeah, I like that. With a load of bean bags. They've got like a music system. And then they've also got like dance mat things and like arcade machines and just kind of teenagey type things. And that is the whole house. Let me show you it, what it looks like again from the outside. I really like the look from the outside. Maybe it could have done with some more windows actually now I'm looking at it, but I, oh, oh and look, I forgot to show you. We have a little pet turkey. He was rescued from the Thanksgiving slaughter <laughs> and he's living happily in the back garden that's the house guys let me know what you think of it down below in the comments happy thanksgiving to all my american viewers let me know how you celebrate thanksgiving what do you get up to obviously being english we don't celebrate thanksgiving but i hope you've had a good one whatever you have done thanks for watching give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed subscribe if you're new and i will see you guys soon for another video bye